Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly tech update, the show that explores the newest, coolest, and sometimes crazy side of tech available on the interwebs. I am your tech director, Ray McNeil. Coming up on the program today, Corsair launches its first gaming desk, and boy, it's a beauty. Sega reveals five new games at the Game Awards, Jet Set Radio is back, so is Shinobi, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, and even Crazy Taxi. Happening in this week's What The, it doesn't get more Australian than this. A podcast guest was completely unfazed after a snake dropped from the ceiling in the middle of a live podcast interview. You gotta check this out. And of course, we'll wrap up the program with this week's Moment of Joy. All that and a whole lot more coming up on today's edition of your weekly tech update next. If you've been looking for a new desk to support your gaming habit, enter Corsair. For generations, the company has been making high-end hardware, both external and internal to your PC. Everything from headphones and gaming mice to RAM and power supplies, but now they've set their sights on the area around your PC with their first ever computer desk, the Corsair Platform 6. The desk comes in fixed height and adjustable height varieties with an LED readout display and several memory presets. So with the press of a button, you can shift the desk between sitting, standing, and say cycling positions if you have one of those fancy under the desk bike machines. Powered by dual electric motors, the Platform 6 will set your desk to the ideal height in seconds. At six feet wide, it can also be extended using an accessory kit. All versions of the desk easily accommodate a dual screen setup and even encourage it with their dual monitor arm which let you elegantly mount your monitors up to 32 inches each or a single 34-inch ultra-wide for that floating screen look. The aluminum rail system is there to be mounted with a myriad of streamer-friendly accessories such as lighting, cameras, boom mics, and whatever other doodads you have to bolster your stream production. With a discreet cable management tray tucked away on the underside of the desk, the Platform 6 will keep your table tabletop looking slick and cable-free, while in-desk USB ports stand ready to charge your USB Type-A and Type-C devices. All three editions of the desk have uh, all of the mentioned features, but if you go for the flagship creator edition of the Platform 6, you'll get to enjoy the extra convenience and luxury of the Elgato Multi-Frame. This impressive aluminum wall rises up behind your monitor, giving you more versatility when it comes to mounting accessories and lets you display your game controllers, keyboards, headphones, and whatever else you want to for everyone to see. Coming in black laminate and solid rubber wood finishes, the Platform 6 will integrate into whatever room you put it in. You can buy the desk at the official Corsair website, and while you're there, take a look at Corsair's other products. You're going to need accessories to fill up that Elgato multi-frame, after all. We have been waiting for a very, very long time to get this, but we finally got a deep dive into some brand new Skull and Bones gameplay, including a look at its dangerous world, player progression, naval combat, and gameplay systems like perks, ship upgrades, and a whole lot more from this upcoming co-op open-world pirate action RPG. It looks like a great game. In fact, it's always looked like a great game ever since they announced it uh, back when Black Flag came out, just after that. I, I know that was in 2015, 16, 17, somewhere around there. Heck, it could have been even older at this stage. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Either way, we're talking about a hefty development period for gameplay that was already sussed out in a Assassin's Creed game. 
we have a 10-minute official gameplay overview trailer to show off to you. Again, I'm going to cut it down to about two minutes or so, just to give you a taste of what the upcoming game, Skull and Bones, is all about. This is the Indian Ocean during the second golden age of piracy. And on these waters, you will stake your claim. Skull and Bones is a gritty and immersive pirate action RPG experience, offering a rags to riches fantasy and a vast open world that can be experienced in solo and in co-op. In it, you will rise the ranks of the pirate world and become the most fearsome kingpin of the high seas. Your story begins in the middle of a devastating battle on the lawless seas. After a brutal defeat, you and other survivors find yourselves shipwrecked on a remote and perilous island. Here, you'll choose your captain and begin your new life of piracy with your first mate, Asna. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. She will use her extensive seafaring experience and knowledge of the Indian Ocean to guide you in your quest for riches and infamy. In Skull and Bones, increasing your infamy is an ongoing objective that you'll pursue. Infamy is the center of player progression. The more infamous you become, the more opportunities open up across the world allowing you to build more impressive ships, to take on riskier contracts, and to gain untold riches as you ascend the pirate ranks against other hostile faction ships. Whoever your enemy may be, the first thing you should do is identify their ship rank and loadout with your spyglass. Pirates don't play fair, and you should use whatever intel you have to your advantage and become the most fearsome pirate kingpin. First came the smartphone, then the smart watch, and finally, smart eyewear. The latest wearable technology from Ray-Ban and Meta is here, and Ray-Ban expert Haley and optrician TJ are sharing everything you need to know. In this overview, they cover the smart glasses capability and how they differ from Ray-Ban stories. They also go over the available styles, enhanced audio, and new features like live streaming and AI integration. Again, this is a long video. If you want to check it out for yourself, head on over to uh, YouTube and you can search for the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses Overview and you can go through all the details yourself. I'll cut this down to about two minutes or so so you can get the juicy details of the new Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. Hey Meta, take a video. Hey Meta, stop. All right, TJ, let's take a look at your serve. You actually did pretty good. I think you could do more of like a forward follow through. Notice how your body kind of stayed here. Mm -hmm. You want to end with your feet in the court. Got it, okay. Hey, I'm Haley. I'm TJ. And today we're talking about Ray-Ban Meta, which is the latest generation of smart eyewear from Ray-Ban. These glasses replace Ray-Ban Stories, which debuted in 2021. Ray-Ban made some major improvements and added some brand new features. You can do everything from take photos and videos hands-free to get instant help from a built-in AI assistant. Now we're gonna cover all the smart glasses features and how to use them. And we'll also touch upon how they differ from Ray-Ban Stories, the previous version. Now, one thing I really love about these meta glasses compared to the previous Stories version is how discreet they are. The Stories had a little bit more bulk and volume to them. So from an onlooker's perspective, you can kind of tell that you're wearing an electronic frame. However, with these guys, they're very discreet, as I mentioned, they slide in the face and it looks really just like a regular pair of Wayfarers. Also, to let you know that the glasses are tuned into your phone, you'll get a little buzz as soon as you put them on, just informing you that you're set up, ready to go. 
All right, taking a look at the first feature, we have the camera located on the left front of the temple, and then we have the capture button, which is located on the top of the right temple for taking the photos and videos. Yeah, it's a 12 megapixel HD camera that shoots high quality photos and records videos in 1080p. The camera also shoots in a vertical format because it needs to match the format of the social media platforms which you can upload to, namely IG and Facebook. The camera also adjusts to lighting around you so you can get high quality imagery even in low light settings. You can record a single video up to 60 seconds long and the glasses also have a 32 gigabyte storage capacity. 